Hello YouTube Bloxians, um, I am here to show y'all C-Framing. Let's go. Alright. Now I'm going to show you one of the two tools that I like to use for C-Framing. First I get rid of these because to me they're useless pieces of crap. Because I never use studs, and I never want to insert any of my crap models. I mean, never want to insert any of my models because that tool's crappy. I can just use insert, so there's nothing really needed about that. Now, those two types of C-frame. There's one which I call the free C-frame because free access, no buttons, nothing. You have to go on by. So that's a good reason about that. And this is the GUI C frame. It goes stud by stud or one tenth of a stud. N now I find this, this free ro C frame rotation to be smooth and good. I like that. But. And the problem with the free C frame is if you rotate it, it just gets screwed up. Like, you want it to go th that way, and it doesn't. It goes up and down. So, you have to really t pay attention to which way you rotate it, which is kind of hard, but you have to try if you want it to do it correctly. See, now it's upside down, so you want to go down. So, yeah. This um, circular one right here, the circular orange circle, rotates it in that direction. This one goes in that direction. And basically, I pretty much know you already know what this one does. It goes like that. Yeah. Pretty much the same with the arrows. Kind of. Doesn't go in the direction you want, but. It's. Good. It. Unless you want something fixed, which then this one comes in. Say you want perfect C frames. I'm just gonna get something just behind that. Uh, let's see. So if this is a little slow or boring for y'all. All right. Now say you want these to be C-framed in that, and you want them to be even. You won't use this tool, it's hard to get it even. You practically have to be a pro to get it even, and not even, I'll, not even I can get it in there perfectly. Though I'm not even really a pro at it. So that's where th this tool comes in. Just let me get these out of the book. This is where the C frame, GUI C frame comes in. First, find out which direction it is. It's Z in this case. Z. Right there. Then you just go 1, 2. So, 1, 2, 1, 2. Oops. Yeah. 1, 2, 1, 2. And it's perfectly in there. So that's basically what you would use that one for. And then you have this little wall. That's a piece of crap. <laughs> oh, and then, say you'd want it to be rotated for weird climbing maneuvers or something. That's where this one would come in. And you just rotate it using the orange dots and there you go uh, sorry about my slow talking it's just my character not my character but it's the way I am
It's the way I am. And I'm proud of it. Alright, so... Now let's talk about some positives and negatives. This one, although fast, it's hard, of course, again, to get it accurate. But it's fast. It's a good thing. This one is slow as crap, but it's accurate. So, one, two, three. See? And then, well, this one, it's again hard to get accurate. You'd be moving it all over the place, but it's fast. I usually try not to make places exactly accurate. I don't care, because being zombie vignettes, it's a zombie apocalypse. Nothing's neat. Besides explosions. That's pretty neat. But if you say if you're making a house, a fancy house, not a vignette that, about zombies, <laughs> then that's when you would use this one. So, um, this has just been a basic, simple C Fame tutorial. This is the. In free models, it's called C Frame Tool, and this one is called GY C Frame. This has been Rick's Blocks, Coconut Sales, EO. Um, and bye.